I'll say this is good. Um, frustration is a compelling reason for us to move forward. It is a compel. It, it's a compelling reason. It is a, it is a focused reason that for us to move, for us to say, okay, this is what you're struggling from. I want you to get into another season or another, another, I mean, a, a different or another stage that has been, I've been placed for you, all right? So that means your frustration is an invitation for you, for you to get into another stage, all right? Now, frustration is also, is also letting me, telling me that I have an ability to understand the power of focus because I'm able to understand what's, what am I frustrated about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe, Robbie, before we go too much farther, would you talk about what, what, you're, what you're referring to when you talk about focus? Like what, what is focus? What are you referring to? Yeah, well, focus is nothing but our awareness to a particular aspect of things that we want to understand. Did you hear that? It is the awareness. It is an awareness of our ability to understand the particular aspect of life or particular so, situation, a particular environment. Okay. So so you're not you're talking about the ability to stay focused in in long like each day moving forward with, okay, this is what I'm about. This is who I am. Um, this is what's happening in my life in the day and in my sphere. Um, mm -hmm. That's the type of focus that you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is because, uh, because without that awareness of my decisions, my thoughts, mm -hmm. my environment, it's easy for me to be easy for me to be getting to things that things that is not making me, is not getting me results that I desire to have. See the point? That means focuses in awareness of what, what, I, what I put myself to something called importance. Mm. Awareness of importance. So if I'm connecting to awareness of importance, I'm connecting to what I'm growing, what I am, actually compelling myself to grow that's so good so you're saying that uh the awareness that we we are important and that we are impactful in mm -hmm. in our world actually prompts mm -hmm. us to grow as well yeah good job good job so in other words if i'm compelling to if I'm compelled to listen to a teaching or listen or trying to make a decision or listen to a thought you're giving importance to those things for me to create a momentum. <laughs> okay. You know that? So in other words, focus functions momentum. Okay. It, it, gradua it graduates me or it moves me to things that makes me, uh, that makes me accepted into, right? It moves. It's a, it, it, it's a, it becomes, uh, it is a, a vehicle that moves from one thing to another. Okay. So it is, so for the first thing that you asked me is what is focus? It's an awareness of me putting things into the place of importancy. Okay. Whatever I compel myself to make something it's important, that is the meaning of focus, awareness. Mm -hmm. So if you're not aware, <laughs> you are distracted, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. If you're distracted, you, you really not, not having anything that is compelling you or making you feel important, making, making you feel important from things that you want to, from the things that you want to attend your attention to. Get the point here it's making you important not the situation come on yeah it's making it's my way it's getting you aware of you here distraction is making something else important mm -hmm. am i making sense i hope you're understanding this 
I think I think what you're saying is that in distraction, um, things that come up, situations, or mm -hmm. in this instance that we're talking about, social people, the things of the world mm -hmm. that cause stress mm -hmm. that are out of our control, mm -hmm. those things become important when we're distracted. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. Whereas with focus, we're able to, um, you know, consider mm -hmm. the things that are happening around us, but they don't wreck us. Actually, we, us and our impact on our, the people around us and our world is what stays mm -hmm. important. Yeah, because we then when we when we when we attend to things that compelling us, we create the atmosphere of that safeguards us, safeguards our kids. You know, you create things you have, when you're aware of yourself. You see the point. Mm -hmm. So when you're aware of yourself and the things that you want to do, the things that you're you're excited about, the things all your things that you need to be, you need to be doing it's you find a place to cultivate new things or cultivate to build things cultivate relationship cultivate connections because you allow yourself to grow to feel important mm -hmm. right but but when you're distracted everything else everything else becomes important not you mm -hmm. this is the point because yeah. the problem the problem with us the focus Nana, the focus is the focus has a five second, <laughs> it is, well, it is almost seven, seven to five seconds attention span that focus has. Okay. If you break that five to seven seconds of attention span that you have, <laughs> you go, you getting into learning more. Okay. I, I was fascinated. You go past. Yeah. Five to seven seconds. You've yeah. actually started learning. Exactly. Because when you, that's what I do with my clients. Every single morning, I give them homework. <laughs> the homework is for them to focus on, on speaking in tongues more than 10 minutes. But I tell them, I want you to focus, focus on speaking in tongues for a certain amount of seconds. Once you start doing that, you put English to what you're speaking in for what you're speaking in tongues to five seconds five to seven seconds speaking tongues then immediately get 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 I mean, add english to it add worship and english to it then speaking fact that means you anyone who's going beyond five to seven seconds and being aware of what you're doing in that seconds you are above above a normal person's <laughs> Above the normal person's attention, uh, attention about normal person's strength. Okay. You see the point? You're connecting You're really to focus. Exactly. You're connecting to the things that is above. That means you you are training your mind to be above and constantly be at the place of learning. But if you're distracted, it will only keep giving you you what you already learned or or connect you to what you want to feel what something else is important what what makes you feel what makes others things important to you that means you're constantly going from two seconds to three seconds three seconds to one second you keep rolling and what words that that is that does not that does not make you grow at all right mm -hmm. so my, my point in saying that is that focus is the key in the kingdom of God, because the Lord even says that if the Lord says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, seek first. That means your, mm -hmm. if your attention is to the is to the kingdom, <laughs> all these things shall be added. Mm -hmm. Right? So you are even in Romans chapter eight, verse five, uh, verse five says, if the uh, a normal person, if he seeks the if he seeks about or set his mind on flesh, <laughs> come on, uh, uh, those who uh, those who live according to flesh, sets their mind according to <laughs> according to the flesh. You see the point? So mm -hmm. sets the mind to the mind. So set uh, flesh sets their minds on things on the flesh. It means if if you live according to flesh set their minds on according to the flesh. That means 
when you're living, when you're living according to distraction, you're living according to the flesh, the fleshly desire. Okay. You see the point? Yeah. So, so the, what is the, the, <laughs> the remedy for this concept of me not finding myself in the distraction, which sets me up the fleshly desires? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I, hope you're, I hope everybody's getting it. If distracted, the enemy knows how to connect you to fleshly desire. Because the fleshly desire is making, making you connect to connect to what, what you should be, what the enemy is trying to distract you to feel powerless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So powerlessness comes from distraction. Because whenever you are in distraction, you're learning nothing. Mm-hmm. You're, you're compelling, you're compounding or receiving the things that is not helping you to motivate yourself. It's going to, it's getting into your soul without any, without any power or without any authority that you need for your soul to lead into next, next season or next phase of your life. Mm -hmm. So that means what, what, what he's saying is, this is beautiful because, so to divide a distraction, the, the best compelling reason the God has given to us to protect focus is resist distraction. Okay. Bible Tell says more resist, about that. Right? Resist the enemy. Mm-hmm. Right? He says that compelling, I mean, forcefully said, if you resist the enemy, resist the enemy, that is the law, that is the command of the God. So if you resist, put the enemy to where he is, <laughs> you immediately get into focus. That's good. Right? So what is resisting? There are two things that I've noticed when you resist. What, what, what are the things that you need to resist? Number one, the enemy of focus is, uh, this is beautiful, the enemy of the focus is how, how we are listening to our disturbing thoughts. Yeah. Distraction is nothing but the disturbing thoughts. Come on. Yeah. Right? It is our, our because at the, uh, when we're not focused, we are focused. Uh, you have a phone call coming in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Maybe you should put it in there. Do not disturb more. <laughs> that, uh, that, that'll help you. <laughs> I'll do this. Put, put the other thing more. Yeah. The, so what happens on the video, if you're watching from Facebook, we are on Zoom. And so if Robbie's phone or any it rings, it will put his little picture that says he's not in the room and or that he's not visual. There he is. So it takes his photo <laughs> off. So he's still here. Okay. So 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 if if I'm not struggling, can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. If I'm struggling on focus. I'm not struggling if I'm if I'm struggling not to have focus on certain things. That means I'm struggling the disturbing thoughts that is making me feel not making me not to not feel that God has created me to be important. Mm-hmm. You see the point? So to understand, to grasp the authority that is placed in the focus. We gotta, we gotta be aware that there is disturbing thoughts that's making me feel unwanted, unaccepted by the authority that God's given to us through focus. So if I'm focusing, authority is grabbed, authority is contended, authority is compelled. We mm-hmm. give more reasoning to authority because authority is what makes us to get into different, to get into different world or get into another, another aspect of life. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Is that five to seven seconds that you're talking about? Is that the difference between living from our own mind versus if we go past that, we're connecting to the mind of Christ? Yeah. Yeah. Because 
uh, it definitely it's uh, it's physical and emotional and spiritual also okay physical because you're letting your mind not to be your boss anymore if you're concentrating on 5 seconds to let 5 seconds and connect to what you want your mind to listen to you are creating control over your mind you establish control over your mind right restriction over your mind and saying i want you to i i'm going to train you not me training me you see, you see the point so mm-hmm. i'm going to train you yeah you mind it's not you training me so you're telling you're physically can't do that mostly what happens in that 5 seconds 5 to 7 seconds law 7 seconds law is is that emotionally you are aware what's going within you you breathe you breathe normally your uh, yeah, because your emotions what makes your your physical level the blood level or the anxious level everything slow down slow down and you pra- the more you practicing you're controlling your emotions to be under the that that line that you placed okay we need anxiousness we need fear we need sadness for us to for us to recognize how to how to move ahead those are signals for us to move forward those are not meant for us to be controlled by it but they are the signals below the line there are signals above the line there are abuse well, well what do you mean <clears throat> how how do they become abuse <laughs> no, when you are when you have anxiousness to to make you understand what's happening within you that means signals or oh, this is anxiousness or oh, this is you are getting into anxiousness or you are getting into sadness or this is you are recognizing the atmosphere of what you, what you're attacked by if you don't understand or recognize the feelings that is coming against you you will not know what who to connect to and what tools you need right it's giving you awareness of the the anxiousness sadness fear is giving you the direction to go get the tools yes so how, when you said that if they're above it's, the line it becomes abuse what becomes abuse. does that mean like we've allowed our disturbing thoughts to become full focus like we've moved from exactly a disturbing thought and now we've yeah. given it our attention amen restrict means not to throw them away restrict means calm them down mm. <laughs> put them down put the anxious the bible says put them down that means resisting means calming them down uh, put them to a place where they're supposed to be you know the enemy the enemy is supposed to be under my leg not above the line god had god has given us authority to put satan under our feet he still that he's under us you see the point yeah you see so so the more i am resisting controlling putting putting all my emotions under the line where i know what i'm aware of mm-hmm. what i can learn from what i can compel myself to to the zeal that i'm connecting to because above the line it's zeal mm. above the line there is passion above the line there is come on come on patience above the line there is grace above the line there's authority that's good you see so when you allow the anxiousness sadness and fear and you give them permission without you knowing that's that is ruling you what are they doing they're submerging submerging the authority of god above the line that is wanting you to take control by when it goes beyond the line where authority is the water the 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 enemy can really make the authority of god <laughs> unacceptable mm-hmm. right so what are these thoughts these thoughts i've noticed and these thoughts are nothing but number one uh, uh, there's no no one is is making me feel not good enough 
making me feel that I'm not worthy to do mm. what I'm doing now. I that means it comes it comes in the form of make making me if making me okay uh, i have this thing that i'm doing but but i don't know i can do this what what the solution to that is then when jesus called john what were they doing they were doing they were they were they were they were in the job that they were doing is when jesus called them to come out of the job so when they were fishing you see when they were, yeah when they were fishing they said you said well i know i know you are <laughs> you mastered come on you mastered in what you're doing now i'm going to master you to another arena but with a different results mm-hmm. it's the same process but it's another progression another stage of results that you're going to have it's the same process but the progression is the result is different mhm yeah so if you you you're going to do the same thing you're going to put the net out in the different place that but it's the same process where you're concentrating working working taking the boat out into the unknown uh, arena or unknown space or new space or you're doing the same thing same fishing techniques that you're doing but you're taking the same techniques to different space but you're catching something totally different than what you're catching there this is the point mm-hmm. so in in one why the reason i'm saying this is because nana is is that he god does not give me new things without connect me to, connecting me to the old things so he builds he builds upon our current knowledge and takes us to new places <laughs> exactly if i master in the small things that is given to me <laughs> i become eligible to take over the bigger things that i can feel that i can feel confident compelled to do that to do greater things because i have i have been faithful in the little things that i master into see jesus is looking to see what you mastered in the little things. Mhm. Yeah, that's good. It's When not that the feeling of comes it's in, not right? Exactly. It's not it's not a feeling all land, but I gave you to master that in spite of you feeling distracted in spite of you feeling all land, in spite of you feeling sad, in spite of you feeling bored, you still do it. Mhm. yeah you still do it that means what happens in that area is that when you're when you're practicing the little things when you're when you're converting the little things the process of the little things finding out finding out what you can do more with that little things before you ask for more <laughs> god is asking are you in the awareness of learning the little things mm-hmm. because the new things that i'm going it's good going to give you is is something that you will not bear come on mhm but the, if you are connected to the old things and you you can bear put orders to it put put systems to it put love to it put things to it what you're asking for more will be given in time but i want you to be faithful in the little that i've given to you i'm going to give you united states can you water your front yard water every single day <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what i mean uh huh you take your kids every single day without complaining to the school can you you know those little things matter to god is this that it is not a discipline it is making you fall on in love with what you're doing in the little things that that's allowing jesus to see those progress mm-hmm. see god loves progression 
God wants us to live out of glory to glory. He looks for a process. That's why he gives us five talents, two talents, and one talent. Even though they are little, someone used it for the benefit of the master. They yes. practiced it. They took it out. They, they tried it. They compelled to they compelled it. They, they, had, they, had, they had fun in saying, God, oh my goodness, my master trusted me with the five talents. Lord, I'm going to learn what I can do with the five talents. I'm going to see what, what I learned from you that you did, how you did, how you made your, your fight, your hundred talents to count to thousand, million, million talents. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the same thing that I've learned from you into practice. Whereas this guy called Juan, he said, you know what? I cannot, I, I'm, um, are you ready? The disturbing thoughts that this one guy with one talent who was not able to get to, get to work, to uh, get to allow, I mean, come on, not use the talent with authority that's, that the master gave him. The reason he couldn't use authority, permission of the master for him to use that authority is he used the word, he used the word and he gave himself to that disturbing thought called, are you ready? It's mm -hmm. good. What if? What if? Whew, yeah. So the remedy here is, Nana, the remedy is do not, instead of worrying about what you need to achieve, what is this great plan of God that you have, Be faithful in the little things before you. Somewhere, somewhere in the Bible, it says, in Proverbs, it says, cultivate yourself to fall in love what is before you. Mm. Cultivate love what is before you. Create compelling reason of why you're doing that's making you feeling love. You see, that means... In the next season that's coming in, you you are learning to you're learning to focus on very important things that matters matters to God. If you cannot put put come on put the authority that God's given to me called focus. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? So good. The authority that God's given to you is all focus. <laughs> If I'm focusing, he comes in. If I'm focusing, Lord, this is what I want to learn. Help me what I'm going. Immediately, immediately, God releases the gifts of the Holy Spirit for you to have more motion. <laughs> so your focus is authority. Mm. Right? Your focus yeah. becomes the authority of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> The focus is saying, oh my goodness, he is in authority right now. He is focusing on certain things. I, we got to do because this, you only can, you only can have five, five to seven seconds. Let's make him grow more. Let's make him give him more. Let's, you know, <laughs> that's a spiritual <laughs> concept because the, <laughs> he says, dude, Ravi is going to, <laughs> Ravi is going to go in four seconds. He has two more seconds. Let's give him more. Come on, Ravi, don't give up. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, everything around you spiritually is, is compelling you to live out of focus. That means to live out of authority. Yes, it's so good. I could have said this beginning. I had to come around so much to tell you authority is focus. You see the point? Mm -hmm. Well, you, if you're you focusing on certain things that grows you, you are an authority. That's so good. You Go talk ahead. often about like being the hovering of the Holy Spirit. And what I'm making the connection here is that when, and you also talk often about um, creating a space for the Lord to fill. And now I'm seeing that that focus is us hovering over something and creating a space for the Lord to create more, for him to grow us, for him to learn, for us to learn that there's that connection of focus. Like one, you're saying authority is focus, but we've, we've given the space for the Lord 
to fill and to make understanding and to learn and to grow. And um, but it's it's also him arriving in that place and placing his his authority in that in that space. Amen. Um, Amen. In that. Yeah, I just that's the part of uh, the power of the thing that I'm trying to say is the enemy wants you to be distracted from your authority and make you unfocus that means he wants you to steal he wants to steal your authority yeah your reward which is his 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 arena mm -hmm. the reward that god would is is going into his arena and taking over his reign on me <laughs> that means yeah. i become the master over the enemy yeah, that's so good. Christy has a question here. I, mean, I think it would be yeah. for, for all of us. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you're being faithful in the little things? Well, the way, number one, the way you know is, is you're constantly seeking different, dif you're constantly doing different things of the same result. That, that example uh, for example, go ahead. You're saying I was going to ask you to give an example, so <laughs> it's good you're giving one. Yeah. The, ask me the question again. How do you know if you're being faithful in the little things? How do I know if I am? You you broke actually. Okay. How do you know if you're being faithful in the little things? Yeah. Uh, well, no, if you're faithful in little things, simple. When you're f tr simple, the, the way you tr simple is, I mean, to test, to test yourself to say, okay, I'm going to, um, is, is you, if you are focusing on learning something, when you're focusing on two things, when you're focusing on doing something, you entertaining any disturbing thoughts? Are you entertaining disturbing thoughts? That and that alone should tell you are gaining some results because favor does not happen through negative thoughts. Okay. Favor happens through you. So you are, if you are getting into all right keep me keep me learning keep me focused on what i can learn and that alone tells me that i'm i'm pushing into new things i'm pushing into being faithful to new things that means the fear thoughts what if is not entertained in what you're doing if you if you want to be faithful to something if you want to break into something new if you're wanting to break the uh, the the un, unhealthy habits on relationship. Let let that thought called what if break. Mm -hmm. Don't entertain what if. That means that means if is nothing but is nothing but what if you lose control, what if incapability. You see the point. What if you're controlled? What if you do, what if this happens? What if you lose this? What if you, you, you back the same thing? It's a fear. It's a fear mechanism, but the shame perspective. You see the point? Yeah. So, so you're letting, you're letting down what if, and the more let down what if, and you're compelled to do certain things joyfully, <laughs> That's when you know you're faithful to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a difference between having a curious what if response and a protective or shame what if response. And if if we can, you know, with the curiosity, it's oh, what if what if I am faithful in these little things? Like, what can the Lord do with my faithfulness? Or what if I love this this behavior or habit or this thought or belief? What if I love this? And then 
so that's curiosity like approaching with surprise like lord the the lord can surprise me here versus that yeah is described was the the shame of oh no what what if i'm seen or what if i'm what if i lose control or or these places where yeah. um those that what if shrinks you down and makes you powerless and and stops you from faithfulness in those small things and you bury your talents amen amen yeah that's that's a beautiful way to put it out man because you're you're worried about you're worried about what is making you what is making what is something can you feel unwanted not important but mm-hmm. if you get to say you know what what is that makes jesus important in this area what can he, if i'm putting this if i'm putting this in this arena and having me grow in this arena whoa, 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 what happens if jesus comes there you see the point so if i am placing my love to my kids if i'm consistently doing this to my kids and somewhere sometime somewhere sometime jesus going to take over this kid's life whoa what what would happen yeah. if this consistently happens yeah. you know what i mean what would happen if this if 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 i keep learning the new language that i'm learning into you know if i'm you know this coming week um uh, this coming week uh, uh sukura na 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 kira na again an example because um the speed it, two weeks back i think two weeks or one and a half week back is it one and a half week two weeks the france the france trip uh if uh, two weeks ago a couple that i've been coaching i'm sure they're, they're listening to me here uh they said ravi uh we want you to come to france um uh, i said okay what well, and what are we doing that we want you to come and do a conference for roman catholic and roman catholics coming together this is one of one of the one of the biggest event in france where all the roman catholics are coming together and they want you to come and share uh share there and i i i said number one i love it oh my goodness i love it uh and number two immediately the, the thoughts come came as i don't have a i don't i'm not a green card i'm i'm not a citizenship number two there is so much a protocol that i need to follow uh, and blah 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 there were so many things that got into restriction for me not to tame the thought of Oh my goodness this is an invitation for god to show up mm that's Who good is this donkey and this this fascinating people who are hungry called roman catholic bring me bringing this donkey to their conference about 1000 people showing up you know in the arena it's a unheard in france in that in that space of life so uh, but what we did is we said lord i'm going to i'm going to put this i'm going to put this into challenge above the line i'm going to submerge my anxiousness and i'm going to put my request above the line and say i'm receiving i'm focusing on what i need to be doing in order to see favor of god mm-hmm. so the next day <laughs> the next i think it was the next day we went to embassy and they got they got us into, and they got us into uh, the world of that uh, visa and they gave us the visa came yesterday um, corona Uh, you know everything came together now i'm going as of yesterday i'm going next wednesday to preach to preach my jesus to amazing people who are hungry for jesus in mm-hmm. france so good is the point so my point in saying this is nana there is a line that you know you can draw yourself to saying who's controlling you mm-hmm. who who do you want to be controlled the curious jesus are are controlling enemy mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> come on you want to experience authority yeah. or powerlessness yeah. yeah follow me i'm curious what you'll do to me <laughs> yes i'm curious you want to listen to me or not follow me i will show you great and mighty things follow me 
or or get controlled by the enemy and sit behind and become jealous of things that you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. So Ravi, what is the Lord doing in people this morning while, while they're listening to this and they're, they're starting to understand what, what's happening? Oh, good question. I, I love your questions, Jessica Nana. Uh, you're, 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 uh, yeah, so I, what's really happening right now is God is, God is <laughs> giving people, God is putting boundaries to the enemy in people's lives. Mm, Facing boundaries. Yes, my son, my daughter needs anxiousness, needs sadness, needs fear for them to know <laughs> to bring me in. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to draw the line. You can, you can do whatever, but you cannot touch their life. That means he's, he's creating a boundary for the enemy not to... Not to uh, he's creating a boundary to bring a person to to outrageous success. <laughs> mm -hmm. That on. means when daddy draws a line, guaranteed this outrageous, outrageous contentment of Jesus, outrageous success, outrageous victory. Because what you're doing is you're con you're participating on the person who drew the line. <laughs> and he's saying, Lord, I am here. I am here. You know, that means the, the more these two hands goes up, <laughs> who is winning? Yeah. The victory is winning. Come on. The victory is winning. So Moses knew that discovery of pouring himself in the process of I will serve in the little things that I'm this given to me called worship. And, and that's little, that's, that's, that is, that feels little, that feels unimportant. That's for me. That is, what me, that is what creates, helps me to focus on greater things. And that little thing is what who I am. So my point in all of this, Nana, I, I believe God's helping people to, uh, I mean, again, I will say this, but I, I, I will say this based on, I'll say this, even though daddy, dad is healing people with a curse of what if. Come on. Disturbing thought of what if. It's a curse. It's a curse of someone else belief placed on them. It's not theirs. It's someone else belief. It's compelled in them, forced in them from your childhood days. Whether you, if you're listening to me, it's for you or it's for someone else you're listening to. God's breaking it for you. Mm. God's breaking that. Number yeah. one, he's putting a boundary. He's healing that curse that's producing behavior. What if? That means shame is somehow connected to this what if and he's killing it, destroying it today i'm coming with the same spirit that what he did in mcdonald's two days back with all these gms most of them were not, a few of them were not christians few of them were not walking it, it ruined their life as of monday <laughs> ruined <laughs> these plans as of monday now i'm coming back coming from that spirit to you because then no, no, one thing i'll say this and i'll finish here i told them the business leaders are the gms of mcdonald's I told you, your work is to is for you to think. You are a GM, but you're a thinker. If you understand that you're a thinker, your position has more value. Mm -hmm. That's good. We'll talk about this next week. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Well, uh, we, if, if this is, if this teaching has been something that has brought revelation to you, or you're like, yes, that was for me, go ahead and drop that in the comments. We'd love to say hi and celebrate with you. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, before we give some closing comments, maybe Robbie, would you pray for everyone? 
Say it again, Lena. Before before we do any closing comments, would you pray for everyone? Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, Daddy, thank you so much for today. Thank you, Nana, for revealing this. And so, just thinking important, so important message in our lives that that the the focus that you have given to us is authority that's placed in us. Jesus, we thank you for letting us know the other side of the coin of focus is restriction. Then we take the full authority in the focus, that one coin, that one authority that's given us. We have focus, we will resist the enemy. We have focus and I am, I am, I am the force of Jesus through restriction authority. Gonna for doing what doing, and I pray anyone who has listened to these two things that God is Jesus is written the boundary line for the enemy. Jesus has broken the 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 come on, come on, come on, the curse. Of what if we thank you for creating a, such a great testimony of healing in each one of their lives? I look forward to hear testimonies this week as they worship you for five seconds. And more on from Christ. Love you, Nana. In Jesus, our dad's name. Amen. 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 Thank well, you. Thank you, Bobby. Amen. One small, small homework, if you all can. Try this being home where for five seconds, for five seconds, speak in tongues. That's all you do. Sorry, seven seconds, speak in tongues. Every single day, morning, afternoon, before you sleep this week. And attach, attach a scripture, memorize a scripture and speak that scripture. Come on, speak a script. Or this, after this seven seconds of uh, admiring Jesus. That means you're mm -hmm. speaking in tongues, but you're admiring. But at the end of seven seconds, memorize a scripture. Put a scripture out. Do this. See what results would you get this week. Seven days. Seven days practice. See all the 80. All that emotional imbalance. All that mood swing. The psychologist will call <laughs> all that anxiety, all that depression, all that fear. I believe will stop this week. Mm -hmm. That's good. Amen. So Amen. that's my homework for you. Amen. And if you don't know what verse to start with or where to go, go to Isaiah 40, verse 28, and start start there. So, all right. Uh, Amen. Well, we love Amen. seeing you guys this today, and. Um, uh, I do like to sometimes tell you about the opportunity to coach with Ravi. So Ravi does do individual coaching. And um, as you as you heard earlier, he's actually going to speak at uh, a conference in, in France with people that he's been coaching. So um, we love to see the fruit of, of that of that come to people experiencing freedom. So if you're interested in coaching, we're going to drop a discovery call link. The first call is free. And uh, then on that call, after a time of, of prophecy, ministry, um, speaking purpose, and destiny, uh, Robbie talks with you about it, what type of coaching, if any, would be uh, good for your situation. So uh, go ahead and take him up on that offer of a discovery call it'll change your life it has changed mine i'm i'm a big proponent so we look forward to seeing you again next week thursday morning 10 30 a.m eastern standard time bless you have a great weekend and goodbye Thanks.